Hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about important things to know if you have macular degeneration. So if you want to learn more about this then please stay tuned. Macular degeneration is a condition in which the central part of one's vision gradually becomes affected over time and at its end stage patients can be left with central missing aspects of their vision whilst retaining peripheral vision. Now there are different types of macular degeneration including a dry type and a wet type and I have made videos on macular degeneration previously which you can find on my channel playlists. So I encourage you to watch these and learn more about the ins and outs of macular degeneration. However, for the purposes of convenience, there's a dry type and then there's a wet type. Not all patients with dry macular degeneration will develop wet macular degeneration. However, for those patients that do have dry macular degeneration, it is important to know about what features to look out for, which could indicate that they have developed wet AMD. So the first thing that all patients with macular degeneration should be aware of is what symptoms should ring alarm bells within their minds. Now, the first thing is a sudden decrease in vision and or distortion. Distortion meaning straight things looking wavy. So the simple check that can be done for this is simply looking at something that you know to be straight such as the edge of a door frame and has this become wavy or distorted and if it has and it is new then you should be seeing your eye care practitioner urgently beyond this then other things that patients should be aware of is diet and lifestyle factors which could impact on their macular degeneration and it progressing so we encourage patients to exercise regularly as per guidance. So this usually involves a minimum of 30 minutes of exercise per day and eating a balanced diet, which includes lots of fresh fruits and vegetables and vegetables, especially greeny vegetables, such as spinach, kale, etc., being of utmost importance. The reason these vegetables are important is because they contain antioxidants which are thought to play a role within the development of macular degeneration. Beyond this, patients should be encouraged to ideally stop, if not dramatically reduce, their smoking habits because this is also linked to macular degeneration. There's lots of help out there these days from general practitioners to try and help with smoking cessation. Patients should be followed up regularly to assess for disease progression and at these follow-ups, specialist investigations and imaging such as OCT scans can take place to try and detect signs of disease prior to patients developing symptoms. So this is very important. Also patients with macular degeneration, if applicable, should have low vision assessments to try and optimize their vision as it stands. This could involve the dispensing of aids, which could be used either for distance tasks or reading tasks. And this will enable patients to try and fulfill the tasks that they are trying to undertake. It isn't always ideal, but it can make some of these things, such as reading fine print, more manageable. If applicable, some patients may be eligible for sight impairment registration, and this can entitle them to several financial benefits if they fulfill certain criteria. So this is also why it is important for them to have and to attend regular eye appointments. Patients can also be signposted to certain societies that exist where they can meet 
other patients that have the same condition as them and this can enable them to feel less isolated. Thank you for watching this video about what all patients with macular degeneration should know. If you have found this useful, please give it a thumbs up, please comment, please like, subscribe and do share this video. Thank you so much. Until next time, take care.